I just feel like the culture like, is really laid back because in a way it would be similar enough to like, an Irish culture as well, like in that people are just happy to have a good time like, and not to worry too much about anything else going on, to kind of live in the present life, which I think is a nice attitude to life. It's very hot. Yeah, the wedding, the good wedding. The food, the no. dancing, the, the warmthness of the people. Well, the food, the music, the people, everything. Yeah, they're up for the crack, you know, they're... <laughs> Me gusta la, la lengua, me gusta el idioma, me gusta la comida. En España me encanta mucho lo que son los mariscos, lo que es, lo que es la vida social, todo lo que es la cultura. I started learning Spanish in NYG in Galway for maybe not even a year, but most of the Spanish I learned was through friends I met in Galway. I want to tour South America, so I was thinking before I do that, I went down, I learned Spanish. It's a lovely language, it goes off the top, and it's just, you can use it in so many different countries. It's a really magic show. I love Spain, and I spent loads of holidays in Spain, so I thought it was, you know, you can travel around the world with it as well, so it seems like the most logical language. I studied um, Spanish school, so uh, I can talk more or less in Spanish. I love to travel, and I wish I spoke other languages, especially Spanish, because half the world speaks Spanish. I lived in Spain for eight years, so I picked up Spanish. Uh, my wife lives in Spain, and she wants to learn more Spanish. I'd actually like to learn Spanish. Yeah, it's a nice language, yeah. It's travel, cultural reasons, broad your horizons, meet new people. You can't talk to someone yeah, in a different language. Like learning, learning a language like Spanish definitely bridges the gap for learning other Latin-based languages. If I had one regret in school, that was not learning Spanish because it's very popular. We would have always learned, obviously, with you know Spain exporting wine to Gaul in the medieval period, you know, 15th and 16th centuries. But certainly I found in 2009 there was a documentary on T.G. Cahar about the DNA connection between Spain and the people here on the West Coast. A lot of people where I'm from, Colomar, would have very dark skin and black hair from Spanish people. I've, I've lived here almost three years and I've heard a little bit about the Spanish arch and I guess there was good trade uh, relations back in the day and a lot of influence you can see today. Quizás son más, tienen un carácter más similar al español que por ejemplo los ingleses o, claro, los escoceses. No, a lot of curse words. I worked in Boston and I had a lot of Latino friends. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, buenos días. Oh, the usual little get by bits. Guapa. Hola. Ciao. Hola. That's Italian. Italian. Sopra mesa. Hola. Que tal? Como te llamas? Cabeza. That's about it. Adios, amigos. Café con leche. Which is coffee with milk. Aprende español con nosotros.